Dear friends and followers, welcome back to my channel and to a great video about a question that's been scattering around the internet. Why does the Airbus A350 have these unique cockpit windows surrounded by black paint, making it look like it's wearing a mask? No messing about, and let's get started. One, two, three, six, six. All right, well, the guy in front of you should go to the ramp and you should follow him. Sounds like a good plan to me. If you like these kind of questions and want to learn more about aviation, I've got something for you at the end of the video, so stick around. The Airbus A350 had its maiden flight in 2013 and entered service in 2015. It was Airbus's answer to Boeing's 787 Dreamliner, which has taken to the skies in 2011. It's the direct competitor in terms of range, size and fuel efficiency, and by today there are twice as many 787s flying through the sky than the beautiful Airbus A350. But it's not just stunning to look at and comes with impressive performance figures. One aspect in particular catches the eye of all aviation enthusiasts, the dark outline around its cockpit windows. But what is the purpose of this eye mask making it look like one of the Beagle Boys from the DuckTales or Soro? If we look at older Airbus A320, 330 or even 380 cockpit windows, they are primarily flat, squared or rectangular shape. And if we now compare those to the new Airbus A350, you see that they are nicely curved and rounded windows. This is technically nothing new. The Boeing 747 has been flying with curved cockpit windows since the 60s but it is something entirely new for Airbus. Now, there are three primary advantages of these windows. Firstly, because Airbus has been striving to make this one of the most fuel economic planes on the market, reducing drag was one of the most crucial aspects. Therefore, the plane's nose and the cockpit windows are aerodynamically shaped to reduce unwanted drag, thus creating turbulence over the windows and fuselage. Additionally, the window's concave design along the nose of the aircraft gives the pilots a better view of ground operations when at the airport. Secondly, although rounded windows are more expensive to manufacture, they have a better force and tension distribution onto the window frame than squared windows. We all know about the tragic losses of the de Havilland Comet due to her square-shaped cabin windows. And thirdly, on older Airbus models, rainwater and snow would collect in a little gap between the windshield and the nose cone. Now, the area where Airbus hides the windscreen wipers. But during takeoff, at a certain speed, the standing water or snow would then suddenly splash onto the windscreen reducing your visibility, sometimes requiring you to turn on the windscreen wipers during takeoff roll. Not so ideal. And that problem was also removed with the new aerodynamic shape as now the water just runs off on either side. Now onto the black mask. I hope you've all seen my video on the cockpit windows. Otherwise, the link is right here. Now you'll know that cockpit windows are electrically heated primarily to overcome the stresses of extremely cold temperatures during cruise flight, which can be as low as minus 54 degrees and lower. And secondly, to make them flexible. Now, generally speaking, warmer materials are more flexible than cold ones. Think of a room temperature banana, which is somewhat flexible compared to a frozen banana. Look how easy this one will break. So to ease the temperature distribution between the heated windshield and the airframe holding it in place, Airbus decided to paint the surroundings black. Black colored materials absorb heat better than lighter colors. Consider it like a thermal insulation between the freezing cold airframe and the heated sensitive curved cockpit windows. Airbus is so particular about this that they won't allow their customers to paint the surroundings in the airline livery. Once that announcement was made, many Airbus dislikers said that if you can't paint it in any other color, then it's just for marketing purposes to make the plane stand out from all others. Okay, first of all, it already stands out because it is currently the best looking plane. And secondly, I am pretty convinced that the engineers of Airbus have better things to worry about than if their plane looks cool. Let's paint some sunglasses on it. <laughs> paint is weight. So why make a plane heavier for no good reason? That's not how Airbus works. 
And you'll have to get used to it as the new Airbus A330 Neo, the Airbus A321 LR and the XLR and others to come will all feature the Ray-Ban lookalike windows. Yes, this black paint shop has gotten many names before it even rolled off the assembly line. <laughs> I do agree, it does separate it from all the other planes regarding its looks, but do you really think the average passenger cares about what plane they're getting on? Bring me from A to B as fast and cheap as possible and I want free Wi-Fi on board. <laughs> Airplane manufacturers build planes for airlines and will do their best to make them safer, faster and more fuel efficient. Fuel efficiency determines the plane's position on the market nowadays. Once the plane enters the fleet, the airline's marketing teams make it attractive for the passengers regarding seat comfort and legroom. Hence, we now bring you from A to B in the quietest, most comfortable airplane you've ever traveled with, etc, etc. Okay, now I have four questions for you. And if you answer most of them with yes, I've got something for you. Do you consider yourself an aviation enthusiast? Do you think you know more about aviation than others? And do you like an aviation quiz? And lastly, do you like gifting presents? If you answered most of these questions with yes, you have to have this amazing aviation quiz calendar, which I put together with 12 airplane spotters. This calendar has 365 questions in all areas of aviation, technical knowledge, airline history, aviation humor, and many, many more. You have a new question every day and the answer on the backside, including a QR code to scan, which will take you to an explanatory video for more information on the question and answer. If you are looking for a great Christmas gift, I highly recommend you click the link in the description box below and get your calendar today. By the way, you can get the plane as well. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this short video on the Airbus A350. There is an Airbus A350 outside check video right here, teaching you more about this beautiful plane. And here's your checklist for today. Subscribe to my channel, check. Activate the notification bell, check. Follow my Instagram account, check. Perform a touch and go at my website, check. And don't forget, a good pilot is always learning. Wishing you all the best, your Captain Joe. Think of a room temperature banana. Way too late. <laughs> yeah, when I say think, you throw. Okay. Think of a room temperature. <laughs> think of a room temperature. <laughs> think of a room temperature. <laughs> temperature banana. <laughs> okay.